In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an add-on for Blender, just like this one. This is a dummy add-on, it's just for an example, but we will create a real add-on based on this template. Please note that most of the Blender add-ons are created as an operator, which is tied to the core Blender functions, even this dummy add-on is also created as an operator. Although it does not do any serious operation, it still has all the properties of a standard Blender operator. It has two parts, one is this UI layer, where we take the user inputs. And then we have the actual code or logic, after this OK button is clicked. The Python script behind this add-on looks like this, it is made of several code blocks or sections. Here we have the details about the add-on, like its name and its description. Then we have the name of our new operator, and the operator ID. And here we have to declare the input fields, which will create the UI part of the add-on. Then we have an invoke method for this operator, it will call our operator and display the UI. And just below this, we have the execute method, which is the main part, we see it's blank for this dummy add-on, but this is where you'll put the actual logic. And then we have some standard functions, they will always remain the same. You can download this template from the links given below in the video description, we will now convert this code into a real add-on. So instead of this dummy or the test add-on, let's say we want to create an add-on which we'll call as bisect and move, it will bisect the selected object from the middle. The add-on will look like this, with a distance input, and we'll also have a checkbox for an optional input, and we just learned that we need to implement any such add-on as a blender operator. It will function this way, the selected object will get divided into two parts, one bottom part and one at the top, with the given distance. So we need to make some suitable changes into this template wherever necessary, keeping the overall structure same, and we need to also add the functional code here for the actual work. But before we make any changes into this code, we need to first rename this Python script itself. So download this template, and first rename this file to say bisect and move, or you can use any other name of your choice, that suits your add-on. Please note that it should have a Py extension, which means this is a Python file. Now open this in any text editor, to create our new add-on. The first thing you'll notice is, we have an import BPY statement. This BPY module is the main module of Blender, that contains various components and functions. It is at the top of the Blender architecture, so any add-on will always start with an import BPY statement. Additionally, we may need to import some more modules, which we'll discuss later. Then in this add-on section, we need to change the name of this add-on, and also its description is suitable. Next we have the version number of our add-on, and this is the minimum Blender version that this add-on will support. And this category field will be visible in the add-on list, when we go to edit preferences. In the next step, we have to change the description of this operator, you can remember that we are implementing this add-on as an operator, so we have to change this class name, as well as these two fields. The names that you use here, should be unique across Blender, so think of something specific to your add-on or your operator. Then this BL label will be displayed in the menu, so use a label that you want to see in the menu, like bisect and move. Then we have the register and undo options, they enable this add-on for undo and for the adjust last operation. And here we need to add our input fields, although we don't need three input fields in our add-on, we can see that we just need two input fields. The first one is a numeric field which is the distance between the parts, and then we have this checkbox, which is an option to move the new objects into a new collection. So we just need two input fields, or two properties here, we'll simply remove this first property. And we need to rename this property to say move distance, we'll also change its display name to move by distance. We can change its default value to say 0.5. Then we need to also change the second property, use whatever you think suitable, and don't forget to also change its display name. Once this is done, we have the invoke method of this operator, but it does not really need any change. First it stores the current mouse position, then it moves the mouse somewhere near the center of the screen, but momentarily. Then this code will display the add-on at the mouse location, and finally it moves the mouse back to its original position, so this entire code remains the same, only sometimes you may need to just change these two numbers, they define the location of the screen where the add-on will display, otherwise you don't need to touch this code at all. Then we have the execute method where we need to add our logic, but we'll discuss this in the second part. And then in these standard functions, you need to change this class name, based on the operator. So you can just copy this name, and then paste it here, and wherever the test operator appears, you'll find it in three different places. Now in this line, we are adding the menu item for the viewport, 
and it goes under the object menu, using the Prepin option, so the new menu item appears at the top. We have several other options like the Add menu, or Select menu, or View menu, and we can either prep in it for the top position, or append it for the bottom position. So we are done with this part, we are ready with the structure of an add-on for Blender. The only section now left is this execute method, which we'll discuss in the second part of this tutorial. Our ultimate goal is to build this add-on called Bisect and Move, that can bisect any given object into two such pieces. So stay tuned for the second part of this tutorial, it will be published soon, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.